Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 153 of Saranova Crafts. I'm your host Jessica, I can be found as Saranova on Ravelry and Twitter, and as Saranova Crafts on Instagram. You can find the show notes if I do them for today's episode on the blog or in the Ravelry group. In the Ravelry group. Links down below if you're watching on YouTube. Well, I am in between shows. I have been home for two and a half days and I'm about to leave again. Got home from Rhinebeck, so that's what that pile of goodies on the love sack next to me here is, so this stuff. Um, and then I'm off to SAF, so when I go to work, after I leave for work today, I will not be home until early Monday morning. I'm recording this on Wednesday, so it's about 8.30 in the morning. I have about a half hour before I need to leave for work, so I am going to try to get through everything in those 30 minutes. Hopefully I don't actually go 30 minutes, hopefully I'm more like 20. Um, but yeah, so I got all my packing done this morning, I had some stuff I needed to print for work, um, and I have all my Rhinebeck stuff here to show you. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into it, tell you about my weekend, how things went, um, just in the camera a little bit, um, and basically just, I know I look a hot mess, but whatever, I don't care right now. So the big thing, the big thing was the sweater. Now if you follow me on Instagram, you already know this, but I'm going to talk about it anyways. I finished it. I finished it. Um, when I showed it to you last week, I had done the button bands, but I had not yet added buttons. And I had not yet done the sleeves. So as you can see, the sleeves are now done. Now, the problem with the sleeves is they come to about here on me. I like my sleeves here or here, not here. So this end is going to have to come out. I'm going to have to add about that much more stock in that and then the ribbing. But it was done. I did wear it on Saturday at Rhinebeck. You can see the big back cable. Um, and it does fit. It does fit. And yes, none of the ends are woven in or anything. But yes, the sweater does in fact fit. But you can see how short the sleeves are. So I want my sleeves out here. So, but it fits. So I had a wearable sweater. I actually um, cast this off in the car on the way to the festival on Saturday. Um, I had Sarah, who is the Canadian knitter, um, though I think she changed her Instagram handle, so I'll have to double check. Sarah, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting what it is. I talk to you all the time anyway, so I don't keep track of that stuff. Um, uh, she drove. I said, hey, I can finish my sweater probably if you drive. So she drove to the festival. We all, everyone who stayed in my cabin all got in her car, um, and then we went off. So, um, but yes, I was done. I was wearing it. It does in fact button. I have the correct amount of ease. It actually fits. The length is good and I know it's going to grow a little bit once it's blocked because it is completely unblocked right now. The one thing is the sleeves. So when I get home from SAF, because I have not had time between Rhinebeck and SAF, I'm going to pull back the bind off and the ribbing on the sleeves and add probably about five inches. But other than that, I'm happy with the sweater. So, and I have to weave in all the godforsaken ends. Um, cause I mean, there are, I mean, even just putting the buttons on made a ton of ends. Cause I did the buttons with the yarn, um, the sweater is made of, so it kind of blends in. I mean, but there's all the ends on the inside. There's the ends from the binds off and the pickups and there's from the cast on and the, there's a lot of ends. There's a lot of ends. So, ta-da, I have a finished sweater. That isn't technically finished. And it's not gen finished. But, um, but anyways, I'm now gonna move on to my goodies from the weekend. Oh, I did, um, um, the sock I mentioned last week, I did turn the heel on while I was at Rhinebeck. Um, it is over on the couch and I can't reach it and I'm not gonna go get it, but it's a sock. It's a plain vanilla sock with a heel. It now has a heel. Didn't have a heel before, now it has a heel. Right? <laughs> and I'm like sliding off the love sack as I'm recording this. This is always good. So, I'm gonna do gifts first and then purchases, which there are a lot of purchases, but because I was on a tight budget. So, um, let me just bring everything over. Uh, all right, so the big gift was from Mandy, who goes by Mandy Pinecone, um, and she made everyone, it got a little squished on the way home and I feel so bad. I'm gonna have to like glue it back into the proper shape. She made everyone these, um, these, uh, these paper craft pumpkins. Look at that, look at that. It got a little squished, so now it's, you know, a flat pumpkin, but I can glue it and tape it back into shape. But look at that, 
you know, she has a um, one of those Cricut, try cut Cricut, whatever those those um, paper cutter machine thingies, and she actually um, she had actually filled these with minis and candy and tea and stuff. Um, uh, you know, and of course there had to be pumpkin spice because it's the fall. Um, and there's a little bit of candy. I'm gonna lose the candy if I'm not careful. And then some minis, which she did tag with what they are. Um, and I haven't worked on my minis blank in a while, blanket in a while, but that's okay. I am planning to. So these will eventually, the minis will eventually end up in the blanket. I stopped keeping track of what minis are wearing the blanket because at this point I've lost track of who's given me what minis and I have so many minis that I, I just, I can't. I'm sorry, people. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Anyways, <laughs> I'll put that up there. And then she also gave everyone hat, including Pom Pom. This is a special pattern. You can't really see it because this is a very dark yarn, but there's a knit pearl pattern in here. Let's see. Uh, let's see, where is it? It's like right in here. Um, we can probably see it a little bit there. It's supposed to look like a pine cone because Mandy goes by Mandy Pinecone. So, and that was designed by our friend Brandy, um, who has designs some stuff put up on Ravelry. And she made everyone in the cabin hats. Now, everyone got a different color hat, but everyone got a hat and they all had pom-poms. Um, so, and I have a picture of all of us together in the hat with the pom-poms. So there you go. It's a slouchy hat with the pom-pom. And we basically, all four of us basically wore them all weekend. Like we put them on on Friday and didn't take them off until Sunday. I mean, I might've taken mine off on the drive home cause it was getting a little hot cause I had the heat running in the car, but yeah. Um, so this is all stuff I got Friday, by the way, when we got to the cabin. So Mandy, the hats. And then what was also in the bag was more minis. Um, these are actually from Brandy, I think. I don't know, somebody gave her minis to give to me um, with a stitch marker. Um, it's a really cute stitch marker. It's like a really cute like little iridescent stitch marker. Anyways, um, and then there was, this was from Michael. It's a little TARDIS keychain, of course. Um, that was not supposed to be in there. I was using this to do the cabling on the sweater and I might have shoved it in the tote bag by accident. Um, I have a decal that when I get the shirt, it will iron on, um, and uh, it's going to say something, but you can't see it right now because it's white on white, and I was trying to read it backwards, and it wasn't working. Let's see. Uh, she, she made herself a t-shirt that says something about, like, coffee and knitting, and I'm like, is there a tea version? She's like, I can make you a tea version. Um, and then uh, she made the, well, she didn't buy it. She didn't make the actual tote bag, but she put the design on it, and she put Asio yarn, or Accio, depending on your preference, I say Asio because it sounds better than Accio. But anyways, SEO yarn! And it's got little yarn balls and it's all like um, iron-on patches and stuff. Um, and then she got everyone a t-shirt because she was asking what our t-shirt sizes, sizes were, are. And so here it is. I am a bookaholic and I regret nothing. And she, yep, that's, that's me. I'm a bookaholic and I regret nothing. So here you go. And it's glittery. Look, it's got glitter on the bookaholic. I have to be careful what I wash this with, because <laughs> glitter is not fun. But um, yes, she did the she did the cutouts of like the, the um, of the the iron on stuff herself. And then there's also in here the last thing is um, well, there's two things. So I got a bookmark, and you can order these from Etsy. It's the Hogwarts Library because you can do different fandoms. You can do like Supernatural and Harry Potter and and. I don't know what else I'm blanking on TV shows. Uh, Outlander and Game of Thrones, da, da, da. You do library cards, right? So this is Hogwarts Library and it's got all these people's signatures. And then it says, oh, honestly, don't you two read? And it's just amazing. What the, oh. I just realized, I am so sorry. I just realized I have toner all over my hand from the printer because I had a jam this morning while I was printing something and I hope I haven't gotten it on everything. <laughs> Oops. Um, and there's also a couple of gel pens in there. But then she also gave me a notebook with an elephant on it, and it's cute. So thank you, Mandy. I know I said thank you on Friday, but thank you, Mandy, for all the great stuff. Um, I'm just going to put, like, the minis and stuff back in the bag so I don't lose any of it. Not my phone. Putting my phone in there would be bad because I would never find out where to put my phone again. So then I got another bag of minis. This one was from Sarah, Canadian crafter. She just let us choose. She had, like, a grocery bag 
you know, like you get from the supermarket um, with just little bags of minis in it like this. And she let us choose. And that's the one I chose. Um, then um, she also gifted me a skein of yarn. Um, and after that, that's pretty much all the gifts I got. And then I'll go into what I bought. So she got me this skein. This is called Fresh Flannel. And it is from Highland Handmaids. They are in, she's in Maine. It's shop.highlandhandmaids.com. Um, and this is on her white maple sock, which is 100% superwash merino. So I'm not actually going to use it for sock. Because I like my socks to have nylon in it because I'm really hard on my socks. Um, I'm really hard on my socks. So I don't, I like my socks to have nylon. But this will make a really pretty hat. So I'm planning to make a hat out of this. I don't know what hat yet, but this will be a pretty hat. So that was Friday. On Saturday, I bought exactly nothing except for the fact that um, I picked up some stuff because I like to pre-order my souvenirs. So I picked up my tote bags. This is this year's Rhinebeck tote bag. There you go. It's got a little dangly on the, got a little dangly charm. And then I also got a, um, oh, I left the t-shirt on the other, oh, for the lover. Um, I got the enamel pin they were selling this year, which is the same design. And then I got a t-shirt with that same design on it, but the t-shirt's on the couch, so I'm not going to go ahead and get up and get it. And I keep sinking in this love sack. Oh my goodness. I'm like sliding off and sinking and just not good. But I did get, um, I did get some goodies just like in swaps and stuff as people were walking around because I went to the podcaster meetup. So, um, I got a stitch mark wall progress keeper actually from Carol at a single strand studio. It's a tiny little pumpkin. I don't know if you can see it. Um, this is her information. She makes bags. She makes that, she made, she is the person who made that, uh, Marauder's Map bag I have that you see all the time. That was her. And she gave me a second one to give to a friend I have who lives where I used to live who couldn't come to the thing. So she gave me two. Then I got a stitch marker and a button from Kate who is Hawthorne Cottage Craft. And I got a button from her last year, but she did new buttons this year. So got a new button. And then... Um, from Megan Williams of Just Run Knit, I got a stitch marker, or progress, yeah, it's a stitch marker, that says, Made With Love. I don't know if you can see it. Come on, camera. Kind of see it there. And that's her information. You can see it in the thing. It's in the little baggies so that you don't lose a stitch marker. And it's like shiny text, which is not helping the situation any. Then, um, I got to see Fiber Nymph Dye Works, and I got to see Lisa, and she was great. Um, I've run into her before at Rhinebeck and um, she was giving out minis on her bedazzled base and a special Rhinebeck colorway So I got her Rhinebeck colorway. Look at that. Isn't it sparkly? So it's a sparkle base. And it's Rhinebeck 2018 So it's variegated and speckled and look you oh, you can actually see some of the sparkle look at that So There we go um, And she is fiber nymph dye work. She has a podcast I've been following for a very long time But I'm like ages and ages and ages behind and then I got a um a new button from Sue, since her and Lynn are now doing their own podcasts. And then Kim, who is a friend of Andrea the Cat Lady from Michigan, um, was giving everyone these resin necklaces. So I, she let you choose which one you wanted. So if I can get it to lay on my hand, I will show you that's the one that I chose. So those are that's all the stuff I got from people. And that was all on, oh, and I forgot one. Nope, that's my button. Never mind, because I threw my button back in the bag so I wouldn't lose it. Um, but that is all of the stuff from Saturday. Yeah, I made zero purchases beyond food on Saturday because I paid for this stuff back in August. So I didn't actually buy it on Saturday. I bought it in August and I just picked it up on Saturday. Um, but it was so great to see everyone at the podcast meetup. It was so nice just be able to spend time in person with these people who I've known for ages and I only get to see like once or twice a year unless I like drive to Canada. Um, though it's a little harder to see Kate because she's in Ireland. One of these days when I go to Ireland, I'm going to have to like show up on her door and knock and be like, hey! <laughs> no, really, I'm not going to do that, Kate. I, I would let you know beforehand that I was in your neck of the woods. Trust me, if I ever go to Britain, well, not Britain, excuse me, I will research my language because I know Britain and Ireland are different things. If I ever go to the British Isles, I will specify the British Isles because there are places in England, Scotland, Ireland, and Wales that I all want to see. If I ever go to the British Isles, I will, you will know. Believe me, people, it'll be known. Um, oh, and I got one more thing I forgot. Uh, uh, this was, oh, the Kim, the Kim who I mentioned. Um, she does bags, bombs, knitting, and spinning. Um, and she is on Etsy. This is her, 
her card. Um, this is the Kim from Michigan. Um, I got another stitch marker from her, and this one was a teapot, which I thought was really appropriate because I'm a, definitely a tea person. So there you go, this cute little teapot. I'm gonna put it back in the little envelope because she did these little like Manila on these mini Manila envelopes um, with all her stuff, and apparently it was um, her, everything she was giving out was. Alice in Wonderland theme because if you found the white rabbit you had a special prize. I didn't find the white rabbit though. I got a teapot though so that's good. Um, okay so stuff I bought. So I made all of my purchases all two. Well no. I'm lying. I did make a purchase on um, on Saturday but it was not for myself. It was a gift for a friend. I got a shawl pin. I don't actually know where it went. I need to find it. Um, I'm not going to see her anyways before I go to Saf, so I'll find it when I get home from Saf. It's in my stuff somewhere. Not quite sure where it ended up, but I got to find it. I think I put it... I'm trying to think of where it ended up. Might, might be in the basket I got. Oh, and I did buy a basket, like a, like a wicker basket. Um, but anyways, the yarn stuff. The yarn is what you people are here for. You're not for, like, my not yarn stuff. Um, so I bought two skeins on the, um... Bought two skeins on the Sunday. Now, I was not going to stand in the Miss Babs line on Saturday. That was just, that would be utter insanity. Um, but uh, we got there early enough on Sunday that there really wasn't a line for Babs. I was in and out in like 15, 20 minutes, which is really good. So I got some Miss Babs yarn. She gave a little stitch mark with each purchase. And I managed to get the Rhinebeck colorway, right? Like, she must have held some back to, to sell on Sunday because they restocked. Because, like, they'd sold out on Saturday, so she must have had, you know, both. Um, so here we go. Here's the Rhinebeck colorway. Isn't it pretty? I, like, jumped on it because I'm like, A, I need to get some Babs at some point because this is an experience I need to have. And B, isn't this one just gorgeous? Look at those purples and even the browns, with, but there's a little bit of green in there. And this is just, oh, my God. This is just, it's really pretty. I'd actually seen it Saturday night because... Jen and Andrea had, had gotten a skein. Well, Andrea had bought two skeins and given one skein to Jen. Um, but I ended up getting the Rainbow colorway. So again, this is 100% this is Superwash Merino. Um, it's her Yummy 2-ply. Um, so I am going to probably make a hat out of this as well. Because I deliberately didn't buy the sock yarn. Because I didn't want to hide the colorway in socks where nobody will ever see it. Because I always wear closed-toed shoes and pants so nobody ever sees my beautiful hand-knit socks. So I wasn't going to... Bye, sock yarn. Hi, Zoe. Oh, you get a key bonus behind me. And then the last thing I purchased, other than food, was we went back to the Gales Art building, and this is, um, it's a hand, yeah, so here's the Gales Art info. You've seen there before, their sock blanks are actually a pretty big thing, but I got this skein of yarn. It's the colorway sandstone. I'm covering the price with my finger and trying not to flip you off in the process. There we go. He's working. So here's the information on the yarn. It's called sandstone. And um, I, she had samples knit up, which is why I bought this one instead of another one I was contemplating, but this one's really pretty. This one, however, is a sock yarn, as in it has nylon in it. It's a 75-25. So I think this will, in fact, become socks. And lastly, because I'm going to Saf for the weekend, and I'm going with 100 Ravens, I cast on a hat and 100 Ravens yarn that I'm planning to knit in the car on the way there when I'm not driving. So I have a skein of their Acer which is one of their DK weight yarns um, in the colorway. It's a sport, but it is a DK. Um, in their colorway, Night Fury. So here's the ball of yarn. After I've kicked, I've, I've already balled it up. I balled it up last night. Um, it's very pretty. And then started a hat. So I'm just on the brim, but hat. So I'm going to try to edit this and get it up um, before we leave for staff, but I but I might be posting this from the hotel room on Thursday night. I'm not sure. We will see. But I think this is about. It. I had a wonderful weekend. Yeah. You know, I said hi to so many people, and I got pictures with a bunch of people. Um, I will try to remember to put some in at the end when I'm editing, but I make no guarantees because I sometimes forget to do edits. I say I'll do in the show, and then I don't do them. What you doing, so? You want to say hi to the people on the internet? Want to say hi to the internet people? No? Okay. She's just like, no. Um, so yeah, I think that's everything. <laughs> um, I am just under 20 minutes now, so I think that's good. 
Um, thank you for watching. Um, like, subscribes, comments are always appreciated, but I'm not going to beg you for them. If you want to give them, great. If you don't, you don't. It's totally fine. I do this podcast for me and not for anyone else. It's a way to hold myself accountable, a way to have a record of what I've crafted and where I've gone and what I've done. Um, because recording about it and talking about it while it's still fresh is very hope, very helpful. So, I think that is everything. I had a wonderful weekend. Hi again to all the people I saw there. If you are watching this, even if you're not watching this, hi again. It was so great to just see everyone. Um, and, uh, yeah, I will probably have a lot more to talk about when I get back from SAF. So, all right, have a good one, and I will see you next time. Bye!